<laughs> What's going on, poor people? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be saying that. Okay. Um. Hey, it's Red J, and today I'm gonna go over my daily gill making routine, uh, in order to make over or roughly around hundred thousand gill in around five minutes. Yeah, it's it's kind of broken. There are a few requirements you will need to have though in order to perform all the different actions required. So. One, you're going to need to have uh, treasure maps unlocked. I believe the quest is in Lanasia, so if you haven't already unlocked it, uh, go ahead and do so. Two, you're going to need to have at least a level 50 miner or at least a woodcutter. Uh, ideally, it would be at uh, max level, but if not, that's okay. And then finally, uh, you're going to need to have high level culinarian, 78 plus and access to the Shadowbringers areas as well too. All right, uh, let's get into it. All right, so this is some pre-recorded content that I had of myself going through my daily routine. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna see me do is actually go ahead and purchase a stack of coffee biscuits, high quality, very important you get that. And ideally for the, uh, the, the gill you wanna spend uh, is around 800 to 850, so at least you'll make a decent profit because we'll be turning those in for a leap quest later. Now, the next thing you're seeing me uh, do is list a baby bat, which is a minion um, that costs 2000 uh, around 2000 at a vendor, and we're selling it for $37,000. Um, so we're doing something very classic, which is vendor flipping. Um, so already we're going to make $35,000 uh, gil right off the bat, and this is something I do once a day because I don't think it sells any quicker than that, usually at least on my server. Uh, the next thing I'm doing is heading over to the East Shroud here. So there's a couple points I'm checking for using my miner and my botanist here. Um, I'm checking different level 50 outcrops in order to find a specific map that I'm searching for. Uh, in this case, it's a time-worn foreskin map. Uh, there are a couple different treasure maps that we're ideally looking to find. And you can see right now I went ahead and skipped a toad skin map because that's not... Um, the highest selling uh, treasure map on the market board right now. So for my server, it's selling for around 40,000. Uh, and you know, if you get some other maps such as the um, Time Worn Zoner Skin map, which is the latest uh, level 80 map uh, for Shadowbringers, it only goes for around 25 to maybe 35K. So I'm just trying to max out my, my gill gains here. And luckily in this little patch in the East Shroud around the Bramble Patch, there are four nodes for both Botanist and Miner that you can collect this map from. And you're going to actually see me go through every single node, which is kind of unlucky um, because there are, are multiple uh, different types of ARR maps because this is an older map here. And I think that's kind of why the, the price there is actually fairly high right now because it isn't collected as much um, but you're gonna see me exhaust every single uh, node here and not find it so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually um, pretty much mine or, or gather everything off that node itself and then hopefully within the next node that spawns which is gonna be you know extremely quick I'm gonna be able to get the map I want so you know there we go we went ahead and uh, got the boar skin map after kind of exhausting and doing a couple rounds, which is a little unlucky, but yeah, that's only a, you know a minute or two minutes here uh, spent, and yeah, we're off to the Crystarium next to turn in our cookie biscuits. So I think I'd take a detour here real quick uh, to go ahead and list out a few things on the market board. Uh, so already um, with the Borskin map and the bat, uh, we've already made seventy thousand gill here uh, so let's go ahead and let me double check that uh, that's exactly what I do yeah so I go ahead and list up the boar skin map okay so it's going for 35,000 right now uh, this was recorded a little a little while ago and then I go ahead and list out any uh, my rosewood logs here that I picked up along the way here so that's kind of extra a little bit of extra passive gill that I have and you know after uh, I go through this little segment here I will be breaking down exactly more details on the treasure map itself and then more details on how to get the baby bat um, minions and then uh, as well as 
a little bit more details around the uh, cookie leaves. All right, so you're going to go ahead and turn, go to this uh, leaf mate uh, here at the crystalline mean in the crystarium. And we're going to go to trade craft leaves under the culinarian. Uh, we're going to look for the cookie leaf. And the nice thing is that you're able to turn in coffee biscuits, uh, three, three coffee, high quality coffee biscuits. And because you're turning in high quality coffee biscuits, you're going to get double the reward. So that means double the amount of gill you're getting there. And you could turn in that leaf three times and it only counts as one allowance. So one neat thing is that uh, your, your duty leaves are going to reset. Um, you get six leaves every single day, 24 hours. And so you're going to see me doing this six times. And, you know, ultimately I'm getting around probably 50,000 plus skill here. Uh, it depends on the reward that you get from the leaf because it changes um, every single time. Uh, sometimes you'll get like 2,900 gil or up to like 3,300 gil. So it, it does vary um, over time here. Oh, and another thing uh, to note is that the reason why you can only do this once a day is because one, the leaf quest uh, allowance restriction. And then two is uh, treasure maps. You can only gather once every 18 hours. So realistically, again, once every day. So everything here is just really lined up to kind of maximize your profit as quickly as possible over a single day period. And, you know, this is really consistent gill. Um, you know, there's not really a lot of RNG to this. And if you do this every single day, you're going to make uh, quite quite a bit of gill over time here, especially preparing for Endwalker. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the, the rest of this here. Uh, there, there's not much more to it, but um, as far as the overall time period this took, it took around six minutes and 50 seconds. Um, so seven minutes, uh, barring, you know, a little bit of bad RNG there on the map. But, you know, you can do this in, in five minutes or less. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show an alternative uh, to the Time Worn Borskin map just in case the map prices aren't really that good for you here. Um, alternatively, what I like to do then is go to Fort Job over in Lakeland. And we're going to get the time worn zoner skin map and you know i think the price has kind of decreased over time because of the moogle uh treasure trove event that's going on that kind of uh <laughs> makes his owner skin maps a little outdated but if the price bounces back up this is the one of the easiest ways so we're just going to fly up north here the 36 uh x and then 16 y and there's two nodes here that spawn let's go ahead and grab our miner and there's a very, very, very high chance that the zoner skin map is right here in this mineral deposit or this one. And it's almost pretty much guaranteed. I would say about like 90% of the time I come here, um, I will find it. And unfortunately, I already collected the map today, so I can't show it off here. But if those two nodes just don't happen to work out, uh, you can fly north here. And you can kind of see on the mini map compass that there are a couple other nodes here. Um, I've never had Zoner Skin Map just not spawn in one of these um, four nodes. So uh, maybe I'm lucky, but uh, I would go ahead and recommend doing that if you have a max level miner and are looking to get that treasure map. So in order to get the baby bat, uh, we're going to head to Upper Lanoshia. And we're going to be heading over to the mill, Poor Maid's Mill on the left side in Oakwood. And the reason why this mount in particular, or this minion in particular, kind of sells very well is because this vendor that sells it is out of the way and it's an area that people really don't travel to. Um, very, very isolated. Uh, but just as an example, even like the common minions. Uh, let me pull up the guide here. So Cherry Bomb, very common. You can get it in every major city. You could vendor flip this. Um, for 10,000. So I, I did uh, market board or checked on the market board prior to making this video and it was up on the board for around 10,500 and it cost like a thousand. So the vendor will appear right here in this spot. Now if there's a reason or there's a reason why the vendor sometimes isn't there. Um, if there's a boss fate that happens in this area, you need to clear first, and then it takes a while for the 
um, Bender to walk back to this location itself, and that's why uh, you may not see them at this specific moment. So just give it like a minute or two, and go ahead and just kind of wait around for them. All right, so here he is back at his home, 11.7, uh, 24.7 are the coordinates. So let's go ahead and see what we can buy from him. Let's go ahead and pick up a couple more baby bats. So 2,400 is what we're buying these for. And we're selling it for 30,000, which is an incredible, incredible flip. All right. And if you guys are interested in uh, seeing myself do more sort of gill making tutorials or like specifically a guide on certain items you could flip from vendors, I'd be glad to do that as well. Uh, just let me know in the comments um, what you guys want to see. Right, one last thing, just be sure to show off your newfound wealth. Whoa, more money, more problems. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bro? Oh, shoot.